My name is Michael Mastro. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we are going to look at the chart for the late singer, songwriter, actor, business person, Toby Keith. May he rest in peace. Um, uh, if you look to the Eastern horizon when he was born using Vedic sidereal zodiac, you would see the constellation associated with Leo rising at 21 degrees. So first we're going to see how the planets are operating in his chart. And then we'll look at and see when they're operating during certain events in his life. And then we'll look at what could be done to strengthen the chart. So we have, uh, he has a very strong sun uh, ruling the chart. Uh, sun is sitting in the house of income. Uh, it gives him a uh, name, fame, income through being a leading uh, singer, songwriter. Uh, then um, uh, this also sun can uh, indicate uh, certain health issues if it's afflicted or uh, transiting a uh, deuced on a house 6th, 8th or 12th. Now, uh, moon... Uh, any multicone sign in the 6th, 8th, or the 12th house, and in this case we have Cancer, the fourth sign of Cancer sitting in the 12th house. Um, this, uh, the ruler of that sign, which is Moon, can cause some challenges in the chart. And in this case, Moon is sitting in the ninth house, and it's very close to the rising sign. So it is uh, afflicting the ninth house, as well as uh, the third house. Now, moon, uh, a challenging moon can affect our autoimmune system. It can affect the mind and emotions. And I think uh, that Toby used uh, his emotions um, to put that vulnerability into his songs, uh, which makes them very relatable and made him very successful. Um, we have weak, debilitated Mars. Um, it is ruling the house of good fortune and it is placed in uh, the uh, uh, first house. So this gives him passion, drive, uh, courage uh, uh, that he puts in all his music. Um, and brings him good fortune. And then we have weak afflicted by K2, uh, Mercury. Mercury is ruling the house of wealth and fame, and it's sitting in the house of income. Mercury is all about communication. So his wealth and income and fame come through his ability to communicate his vulnerabilities. Uh, now, Mercury is afflicted. Um, so this can create controversial speech. Um, Mercury is also about business. A lot of his wealth comes through restaurants. He has many, many restaurants. Um, then we have weak placement, debilitated Jupiter. Jupiter's ruling the house of creativity and it's sitting in uh, the challenging sixth house. Um, so it gives him creativity through creating this healing music that's healing for people. The sixth house has to do with healing and inner conflict that he's able to put into this music that makes him very relatable and successful. Then we have a very strong uh, uh, Venus, one is probably one of his strongest planets, gives him good looks, gives him, it's ruling the house of success through performing arts, um, singing and uh, acting, etc. cetera. Um, then we have weak, uh, placement Saturn. Saturn is ruling the house of partnerships. Um, it is an indicator for longevity and for uh, helping other people. So he's very involved in Ali's house, which is a charity for uh, children with cancer. Then we have challenging Rahu and K2. Uh, they, um, Rahu is sitting in the first house. So Rahu can affect his health and Rahu can be poison or cancer. And, um, it, uh, and then K2 is opposite always. They're always balancing something. And he, 
that's teaching him to learn to balance his needs with the needs of others. Um, let's look at the timing of events. He got married during in, in 1984 during a Rahu period. So Rahu, again, this thing like his needs with the needs of his wife um, and making big changes in his life. And he came out with his first album, Toby Keith, uh, in 93 during a Jupiter period, Jupiter height of starting the height of his creativity, Jupiter rules the house of creativity. And then uh, came out with the album Boomtown during a Saturn period. So, uh, you know, his agents, his partnership with the recording company, all that uh, supporting his success in 96. Also, Blue Moon is in the Saturn period. In 97, he another album called Dreamwalking during a Mercury period. Mercury, again, bringing wealth and fame uh, in Oh, one, his dad uh, was involved in an accident. Um, I think a bus uh, hit him and there was a big lawsuit. And this is during a K2 period. K2, again, unexpected events. Um, and then we have uh, in 2002, he got involved in with a feud with the Dix Dixie Chips, Chicks um, and their ability, uh, you know, their criticism of uh, Bush and things like that. Uh, in 2021, he got the National Medal of Arts Award. He performed for uh, Trump's inauguration. And, um, and this is during a Mars period, bringing good fortune. In 2022, June of 2022, he was uh, diagnosed with stomach, stomach cancer during a Rahu period. Rahu is sitting in the house of the body or the first house of health um and it can indicate cancer and then he he passed away um february 5th 2024 again during a saturn period now saturn is ruling um has to do with longevity and and it it's uh sitting in the house, sixth house which is health and stomach um so um so he, he died during the Saturn period and transit, if you look at the transit chart on the left, you would see uh, transit uh, K2 uh, as actually uh, aspecting or afflicting uh, natal Saturn, which again, longevity. And Rahu and K2 are close to the most effective point. Uh, the, the rising sign degree. So they're afflicting the sixth house of health, the eighth house of death-like experiences and the 12th house of end of life. Um, so what could we do to strengthen the chart? Um, you uh, you wanna transform Rahu at K2 as well as moon. And he's already doing that with his charity work, uh, the Ali Foundation, um, Ali House, uh, and then the rest of the planets could, the benefic planets could be strengthened with my favorite remedy, Kavash, which is a silver locket that contains the Devatai Yantras for his benefic planets. Um, you can, if you want to get a Kavash, learn Vedic astrology or get a reading uh, or subscribe, uh, go to vastucreations.com. Thank you so much for listening.